Rockstar has finally listened to the Red Dead Online community. The joke is that they don't listen at all to us, and so when they do actually listen here and there to their players and customers, it's made out to be a really big deal. But in reality, this is something that's actually really good for those players affected, and this still goes to show that while it may not seem like it, there is still some attention on this game to a degree, and there is still people behind the scenes that are performing tasks in regards to Red Dead Online and that gaming space. Now, it may not be much, it may only be a few new Telegram missions here, and a few call to arms there for so you know some Halloween events but this story today that we're gonna be discussing is a really positive one so let's begin if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it insightful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on So a couple weeks ago, Google announced that they would be shutting down their Stadia service for all Google Stadia players, and those players would no longer be able to access Stadia products and the games in the future once that shutdown actually took effect. And this blindsided both players and the Stadia game developers alike, and not one single company had a plan out of the gate of what to do following this surprise news. Now some initially announced plans shortly thereafter, and sometimes some people did it in hours within that announcement, but in Rockstar's case, they were dead silent. The Rockstar Games community on Stadia was in the complete dark as to whether they would lose all their Red Dead Online progress because Stadia was shutting down, but deep down I think they all hoped to have the chance to transfer their accounts and characters to a new system, like Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, so that they could continue playing this amazing game. And that's just something a lot of people, including myself, didn't see very likely for Rockstar to do. It's something I was hopeful that they would be able to do because I feel like they definitely owed the Stadia player something because Rockstar was contracted to put Red Dead Online on Stadia by Google. They were paid a lot of money for that according to Drace and Shire. But for weeks, we could only speculate about the fate of Red Dead Online Stadia players, and particularly in this example, what would happen to Color who's a Red Dead Online Stadia content creator and a streamer, and a really great one, by the way, and he's logged over 6,000 hours in Red Dead Online alone. And as of today, we got news that Rockstar has listened and Stadia players will not be losing at all because of the service shutdown that was announced by Google a couple weeks ago. Color took to Twitter to say the following. Attention all Red Dead Online players on Stadia. Rockstar Games has finally reached out to me with some good news. See their message below. And the full message from Rockstar Games support team mentions the great news for all Stadia players, and it says the following. Hi Color, we're pleased to confirm that all active Stadia players who played Red Dead Online within the 30 days prior to Stadia announcing their shutdown will be able to carry over any earned Red Dead Online money, gold bars, XP, roll XP, and roll tokens to another existing account on either PC, Xbox One, or PlayStation 4. Players will just need to have the targeted game account linked to their Rockstar Social Club account, and they can reach out to us via the Rockstar Support website for assistance with their link. Please feel free to share the above message with your viewers. Regarding your account, a Rockstar Support agent will be in touch with you shortly to assist with your existing support ticket. We'll also be sure to get that care package sent out to you soon. Best Rockstar Games. So not only does it seem like Colors receiving a care package just for reaching out and being in touch with the community, being really polite to them, even in spite of all this bad news, but it does appear that not only will players be able to transfer their character, they're getting all their earned money, goal bars, XP, roll XP, roll tokens, and they will have the choice to transfer to any new system that they want as long as they have that Rockstar Games Social Club account. The only catch here and the only caveat is that you needed to have played Red Dead Online and made some sort of progress within the first month of that announcement actually going live. So if you started playing within 29 days of that announcement going live, that Google Stadia would be shutting down and you'd be losing access to all your games on Google Stadia, this isn't gonna work for you. If you started playing on Google Stadia after their announcement, this isn't gonna work for you. But for all the longtime players on Stadia who have been playing months prior and even years prior, playing Red Dead Online on Stadia, they should be good to go. Unfortunately, what I didn't get to see here was Rockstar mentioning account unlocks and all that. It does not appear that players are gonna jump right back into say their level, you know, 1000 account, 500, account with all their unlocks but it does appear that they are going to get their money and their xp so they're going to have their level they're going to have their money they're going to have their currently earned gold bars but they don't say if you spent it if that counts like say if you already bought all the rolls do you need to rebuy the rolls or are you going to have enough gold to basically buy it and you'll be at the same place that's something i'm not sure about you know it's most likely they're going to need to remake all their same outfits and stuff it should just be a full account transfer but it seems like they're just taking the main things which is at least what these stadia players wanted at the bare minimum
minimum, which is their money, their gold, their level, which is the XP, the roll XP. So they'll have their max level rolls, I guess. And then their roll tokens, if they have any left over, all that stuff will be transferring. So that is absolutely great news to see here. You'll also see a lot of people online saying that Stadia is a small platform. This is kind of pointless. They shouldn't do it. Who cares? Who plays on Stadia? It's enough people playing. Enough people are affected by this. So this is absolutely fantastic news. And we should be applauding Rockstar for the fact that, you know, this is something while I would say they are obliged to do this and this is something they should be doing for their players. I'm happy that they actually are doing this because I think we're also down in the dumps about Red Dead Online and all the news recently that we didn't actually think that they would actually be doing something like this. Maybe you did. I didn't have the highest hopes. It was something that I would have really liked to see because all the Stadia players it really like think about this. If you're playing on PlayStation 4 or Xbox and you lost all this progress, how would that make you feel? I'm level 316 on PlayStation 4. I'm level 585 or 586 on PC and I'm like level 100 something on Xbox. If I lost all that progress on all those accounts, I would be furious. Would I keep playing the game on a different system? I mean, personally for me, yes, because because I upload videos and I make live streams on this game and I'm gonna continue doing that. But for a standard player who isn't creating content, doesn't have social media regarding this game and Rockstar, etc., like that would probably just be it. That would be the final nail in the coffin. So to see Stadia players at least have some sort of recourse is nice. Now, the other problem is a lot of people were playing on Stadia because Color mentioned that, you know, a player may not necessarily have been able to afford a different console and Stadia was a way for them, them to gain access to games that they otherwise couldn't afford, just for one example. And the good news here is that at least they have that opportunity. If they ever get a different system in the future, this feature and this character transfer will be waiting for them. But, but of course, despite Stadia being a small platform, it's still part of the overall Red Dead Online community, and we should all be trying to preserve what is probably, in my opinion, the best online experience I've ever had in a video game in a long, long time. But with that said, that's the good news for you here today. We're going to be wrapping things up right here. I'd love to know in the comments what you think about all this. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully, I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. Channel, we consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.